Hello YouTube, this is an updated video from my PSP KVM Plus Opera Mini on my other channel, James24788, and this is my new account, the Saucy Crib. So, firstly, you need to check that you have custom firmware. To see if you have custom firmware, you go to Settings on the left column, and you go right down to System Settings, and then it may come like this, go right down to the bottom, System information, plus X, and you'll be greeted with a screen. And where it says system software, you'll see numbers. And then if you have letters after, like I do, M33P, then you most likely have custom firmware. But if you don't, you should check out a video, any video on YouTube, and they're very easy to follow how to install it. And yes that's for that so if you have custom firmware you can continue with the video if you don't get it installed and return to the video and you can carry on installing PSP KVM so you head over to your computer so USB connection and we head over to the computer now Right, now on the computer, you need to download the PSP KVM package. And if you already have PSP KVM on your PSP, you'll need to download the latest Opera Mini, which is version 7. So there'll be a link to both of these in the description. So, if you are newcomers and you would like the whole package, then download this f uh, folder and save it to your desktop. Then you need to connect your PSP and open the folder and go to PSP then game and open up your PSP KVM package that you would have downloaded and then it'll come up like this and go into PSP KVM package and you want to copy PSP KVM to the game folder Right, so when it's done, go back to the zip folder and you'll see Opera Mini 7.jar, so it's a Java file. Then go to the root of your PSP memory stick and copy that file. And now you can close the zip folder and you can eject your PSP. Now back over to the PSP. Okay, so now we're back at the PSP. You want to go down to game and then memory stick. And go down till you find PSP KVM final release. It's the most recent version. And let it load. Right. Right, you want to go to system middlets and you press circle as that is default, but we can change that. Then you want to go to find applications and circle and you would like to install from a memory stick circle. And then it connects to your memory stick. And remember, as we did on the computer, you put your Opera Mini at the root of your PSP memory stick. So, that will be on the front page, and it will be at the bottom. It will say Opera Mini 7, latest version, .jar. has to be .jar. Then you are going to press Start, as that's it that's for that button here. You press Start, and it will connect and once you're here you go to standard 480 by 272 that's the PSP resolution press circle
and you have installed PSP KVM and a Pro Mini. So when you get to this screen, it asks, is it okay to use airtime? Um, you can say yes by pressing start, and that doesn't affect like cost or anything. That's if you're using it on a phone, and that's whether your contract accepts accepts internet usage. So you go on start, and then you choose your internet connection. I'm using D-Link, so I will select that, and I will press circle. And it does say actually there, circle is enter. So you press circle. And it will connect to the access point. Now it will finish installing. <clears throat> right. wait for it to load right now there's a welcome to a Pira mini section newest version 7 and you're going to go to accept and to select that you're going to use select on your PSP so the select button on your PSP clicks every button that's over here and the start one does every button that's over here so you're going to press select and see it's selected that button now you are at the new home screen for the Pyramid Mini 7 it's very different from 6.5 and previous versions yes and it looks quite nice Make sure everything works. Uh, when this first comes up, you will use these arrow keys just to make that bar go across to the end, and then it will load your page. And yes, everything seems to be working. I am on the BBC homepage. So now you need to exit this program, go in by menu and use in the analog stick and go over to quit and press circle. And are you sure you want to say yes by pressing select? Right, now from here it will now put Opera Mini into your installed midlets so when PSP KVM loads again you want to go to installed midlets and you'll see Opera Mini and if you want to reassign all the buttons you go to menu here so by pressing start and you go to select device and you'll come to this screen <coughs> Oh, don't know what happened there. Just crashed. So you go to select device. Yeah, and once you're here, you can change it. So if you did want to change it to a different resolution, you can do it there and here is where you can assign keys to different keys so for up it uses analog up which is that pushing up so you could change it to use these which I do find more useful so you can change that and yeah that's it for that then save it by pressing start Then if you go to menu actually take that back, go back and if you go to configure VM and say launch this is where you can change 
the keyboard settings, so there's lots of settings here so you can change it to western which is X for confirm which is what we would like press circle and OK now once you have key mapped all your keys you want to go to virtual keyboard and press configure so that's start again and here you can change it to QWERTY you can change it to whatever you want but if you change it to Sony OSK that is the default keyboard that comes with the PSP which is a lot handier as most of you will probably be used to that so now you can press X to select you no know, circle to select it and press OK and you press done by pressing select right now that saved all of the settings for the keyboard so then if you were to run Opera Mini again and you went to the search bar it would come up with the normal Sony keyboard as you'd see on the normal internet so if we exit this <coughs> Go to internet quickly. Let it connect, and say if you went up here, in, up here in the address bar, it would come up with this. This is Sony OSK, so Sony software keyboard. Yeah. So. Thank you everybody for watching and please comment, rate and subscribe and feel free to post a comment if you have any issues or problems or private message me, I really don't mind and I'll try to answer any of your queries. So again, thanks for watching and goodbye.